Well, hi there, everybody, and good Tuesday morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski here as we take you through your day today. It won't be nearly as hot as it has been the last several days. A cold front came through part of the area yesterday. It's all completely through the area now, and it will stick in the area, though, kind of a meandering stationary boundary across southern Nebraska and northern Kansas the next couple of days, bringing us a number of chances of showers and thunderstorms and even a little bit of severe weather here to the forecast. Now, uh, future cast a little behind because we're not seeing any rain right now to the northwest other than maybe up around the Valentine area, and it's not nearly as heavy. Heavy. It's a lot of it is now pushed up into South Dakota. So most of us just kind of seeing some blow off cloud cover this morning, which we'll see part of the day today associated with some of those showers and storms we had last night out west. Late in the afternoon, not out of the question, we get a stray shower or thunderstorm to pop up with, with that boundary again in northern Kansas or southern Nebraska. A little better chance heading into the evening hours and even into the overnight hours. Some showers and thunderstorms, some severe weather is a possibility, mainly south of Interstate 80. This activity will start to shift to the north, but as it moves into more stable air, the severe weather threat will go down. As we head into your day on Wednesday, still an off and on chance of rain and thunderstorms early focusing on northern Nebraska, then later in the day, once again, southern Nebraska, northern uh, Kansas, the best chance of some strong to severe thunderstorms out there into the overnight hours. By the time we get towards Thursday morning, the severe weather threat is lower. That frontal boundary will eventually start to shift southeastward, and that will start to take the better chances of rain with it, although we'll keep a chance going during the uh, I'd say through at least the first half of the day of Thursday, maybe even through about supper time Thursday evening, but then Thursday night, wrapping up those rain chances. And some pretty decent rains could be on the way. Now, this is one forecast model of what are many, and they're kind of all over the place, but this one just kind of gives you a general trend of what could happen here as we see those better rain chances in the southern parts of the viewing area. Over an inch of rain is certainly a possibility. If you get under a good thunderstorm uh, in the southern parts of Nebraska, northern Kansas, you could be talking about maybe a couple of inches of rain when things are all said and done here. But this takes you through the uh, last chance of rain late in the day on Thursday so by Friday morning we're all done with precipitation. As for your risks of severe weather and this is from the Storm Prediction Center your main chance is near and south of Interstate 84 today and again marginal risk is not a big time threat but large hail damage winds are a uh, there's a chance of that late this afternoon and more so this evening and overnight tonight and then kind of the similar area for tomorrow late in the day tomorrow and tomorrow night large hail looks to be the primary threat. As for your highs later on today, cooler than yesterday. We're looking at 60s to the northwest, 70s to the southeast. So that early rain's kind of wrapping up now, partly to mostly cloudy skies across the north. I'm going to call it mostly cloudy out west. We'll see some breaks in the clouds, and there will be a chance of some late day showers and thunderstorms. 66 in Ogallala, but 77 in Beaver City. So you can notice the trend of warmer conditions the farther southeast that should go. Maybe lower 80s or in the northern part of Kansas. Mid to upper 70s around the Tri Cities. A late day thunderstorm is a possibility. Same thing to the east, a very late day thunderstorm probably closer to around sunset out towards the east we'll see uh, upper 70s and lower 80s for highs some cooler 60s in the next couple of days with more rain chances around here a little breezy as well friday and saturday looking dry at this point here late late saturday night after midnight a small chance of rain and thunderstorms a little better chance coming in sunday night with a little more instability as well. So maybe an isolated strong to severe thunderstorm a possibility. Monday looking dry for now, but Monday evening and Monday night, rain and thunderstorm chances return. And this one also bears watching. Maybe some severe weather once again a possibility by Monday night. More active weather kind of moving into the area towards early to middle portions of next week. So again, there are some good rain chances in the forecast. Not going to be nearly as hot, but at the same time, not too chilly out there. So some pretty decent temperatures on the way over the next seven days. So there is your forecast for today. Until next time, I'm meteorologist Travis Klineski. Hope you have a great Tuesday and God bless.